There you are, Commander. Come now, let's see you look sharp. I'd like to begin the Council with a refresher of current events. I sent Sabine and Garu to you, Chris, to do some reconnaissance. Garu, if you would be so kind. <clears throat> Certainly. Oh, and uh, may I mention, it's not often I get to do recon with such a ravishing partner. So long as you don't mind me judging you for it. But dancing ain't my thing, so let me cut to the chase. Haishan is now completely under Imperial control. Oh, my poor people. Good tale, eh? I've got a third-class thing or three to say about that. Is that how all Gaudians think? I cannot deny some of our countrymen hold such ugly views. It is reprehensible, and I am truly sorry. You ain't the one who needs to apologize. Besides, I'm glad I got to hear it. It'll put a little more rage in my sword. So... How much should we worry that these lens wielders he's recruiting aren't getting a lucrative deal at all? We know Aldrich is trying to weaponize rune lenses and put them into more general use. The dragon we saw on the battlefield is a prime example. At the laboratory where we were held, he used... people to unlock the primal lens's power. He'll likely do the same to the other lens bearers who come forward. The Dukes must be stopped before more innocent lives are lost. <sighs> A pretty thought, but considering the state of our army... The Empire has forged a formidable union with the Revenants and the Kinanis. In comparison, we are still licking our wounds from the last conflict. Some Eucrisians tried to resist the Imperial assault on Haishan, but they were completely overrun. And since fleeing Naristar, King Salus is nowhere to be found. We haven't been able to contact General Electra or Maxim either. Last we saw him, they were holding the rear as we pulled out of Athrobot. Aye. But you still have we tree folk and the Shi'arks, which I admit is likely not enough. Do we have any hope, any means at all, of defeating the Empire in direct conflict? <sighs> None, my lady. So there it is. No hope. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so all of that is terrible. But it's not like we're just gonna give up, right? Laying down arms and surrendering is... Well, it's not the worst of our available options. In doing so, we might be able to save the lives of countless soldiers, our comrades and friends. What? No. We're not surrendering. No way. Not happening. Who be? Naturally, another option is to keep fighting. What say you, Commander Noah? I... Okay, back off, all of you! It's wrong to put all of this crap on Noah! It's completely unfair to ask him to decide what to do with that many people's lives. I mean, if it were me, I... I'd be shaking in my boots, all right? Heck, I'd probably collapse on the floor in a little ball of goo and start blubbering like a baby. It's okay, Leon. I appreciate you. I do. But this is a choice I have to make. Somehow. Somehow, indeed. Fortunately, we've not received any reports of the Imperial Army marching this way. Why? I know not. Perhaps they don't realize we're here, or perhaps they're waiting for all of their forces to join up first. In any case, you at least have a little time to consider things. Though, the decision must be made. Hmm...
can I ask you to pivot your resources and increase our supply of these materials here? Purpose being? It's to bolster the town's defenses. I've designed a few new measures that should give us a fighting chance. My ideas can't hold a candle to Miss Iris's, but I offered what assistance I could. Huh. Give an architect an inch and she'll take a league. It's all very impressive. But what about this talk of surrender? You're asking for a lot of heavy lifting just to raise a white flag. We don't know what will happen yet, so we prepare. Does this really merit debate? She's right, Guildmaster. I'd rather break my back now and try than regret it later. We may well break our backs and regret it later. But if the measures are necessary, then I say we do it, sir. It seems worth the effort. Uh, twist my arm and you might even get me to break a sweat. <gasps> ha! I'm ready to hit the ground running if you'd make your damn minds up. What is this? I feel like I tripped and fell into an old memory. All right, all right, protest withdrawn. You just give me your list and on my guild's honor. I'll make sure we deliver. Oh, do come in. Expedition said they found something special. Good news, huh? You got an eye for hiring help, buddy. What do you need? Until next time.
Organizing the stockroom, Sumire. I sure am. Gotta have things ready to bust out in case Nola and everybody need to run off to war, you know? Bust out? Yeah! Rummaging kills all the pre-battle momentum. I wanna be like, boom, here you go, so they can be like, boom, here we go! Figured that's the best way for me to help. <laughs> well said, Sumire. Something tells me the student is starting to surpass the teacher. I have things to do, you know. Let's continue the fight, Noah! Glad you took a guardian along. Tremble before the powers of necromancy. You've come to the right healer. On your marks. Off. Okay? What do you mean? I don't know. You look a little distracted. <sighs> yeah, maybe. <sighs> I guess I can tell you. There's been some Griffin sightings. Here one day, there the next. You know how it is with rumors. So, you want help hunting the Griffin down? No. But the way people have been describing it, I keep thinking, what if it's him? Poppy B. So. Will the commander fight, or will the commander break? Bigger question is what you plan to do. You wouldn't be the first sellsword to miss roll call when faced with a losing battle. Hell, it's stupider not to run. The Sawads honor their contracts. If Noah chooses battle, then I'll fight till the last drop of blood leaves me. Should I worry about you? <laughs> Count me among the stupid. Even if the lady weren't depending on me, which she is, Noah's gonna lead us down the right path. He's a good man, that one. Well, if you're gonna be stupid, I'm gonna be stupid. I'm gonna be the last one standing, so suck on that! I know I didn't drag my carcass across the sea just so I could run away with my tail between my legs. I'm here to eat, and this battle's the main course. Ch you can keep talking about this if you want. I'm gonna go polish my blade till it gleams. Takes a lot to be a good man. Brilliant! Yo! 
don't know what the fuss is. They have a paragon of magic like me to rise to the occasion. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yup, it's time for the good guys to smash up evil. It's like that magical tome I read when I was little. Dark lords, epic battles for the fate of the world. And the art was so good, I couldn't put it down. Battles like this are what magical girls were made for. Say your prayers, Dark Lord Aldric, cause my lore's coming for ya! I don't know what good I'll do, but I'm ready to use these meager talents as best I can. <sighs> Once I hold dominion over the thrall I seek, no army will be able to stand against me. I'll take that book off your hands. Can't wait to dive into it. Found any books you like? By any time. Dad, I'm scared. Are we gonna die? What? <laughs> We're not gonna die, baby girl. Not while I'm still hopping. <laughs> you don't believe me? We'll pack up and leave right now, yeah? Don't lie to me. Huh? Parents like to think their children are too young to see, but they do. You won't run. <sighs> Look, you're my number one. I am not letting anyone hurt you. But there are some fights you just can't run from. I know. I love you, Dad. Hello. Hmm. Your Majesty, what will happen to us? Something? I don't know. Whatever Commander Noah decides, I will never stop fighting to retake you, Chris, and restore His Majesty to the throne. Neither will I. Thank you. But I don't think it will come to that. Curiel believes in Noah. She knows he's not so readily broken. Yes, sir. Boys got strength and adversity written all over them. Hmm. Perhaps so. One day, she'll see that I'm not either. What's to become of us, milady? There's no telling what he'll decide. Oh, please. That's the only part that's obvious. You're that certain, then? I don't bet on a losing horse, Melridge. Well said. I, for my part, believe in him, too.
So what happens now? Yeah. If the Alliance decides to surrender, what's it be for us? Well, we certainly won't be going back to the Empire. Unless we want our necks stretched for desertion and treason. But... We could always flee to some remote area, keep the Resistance going from there. There's always a chance sentiment within the Empire will turn against the Dukes. The opposition movement could grow. Even if it comes to that, I'll never stop fighting. Think you could take me with you? It would be extremely dangerous. Oh, I know. But you've all fought so hard for me and my sister. And I want to return the favor. Me too. We... We'll both fight with you. You're very brave, the both of you. But you don't have to worry, Milu. It won't come to that. How do you know? Because I know him. <sighs> What's the matter? Huh. So, what happens now? I'm gonna assume that's a rhetorical question. Pulvi! What do you mean? Far as I can tell, Noah isn't the kind of fellow to give up at a time like this. Agreed. So what happens is that we get ready for the battle ahead. This isn't over until we bury the Empire and liberate Yarnan. End of story. Ha! Yes, that's exactly right. I suppose I should worry less and prepare more. <laughs> Thanks for saving me the trouble of coming up with a pep talk. How's that? Hustle, Collies! Hustle! Our final test be so close, I can smell it! Aye, for true. Noah proved his valor to us on the sands. He'll not make the wrong choice now. We must be ready when the order comes. We fight not just for him, but for our own future. Running's what other dwarves do. Not this one.
Well, Noah, have you found your answer? I can't stop thinking about one thing. What's that? Was I the wrong person for this all along? My choices have affected so many people, and it just doesn't feel right. Cousin, come on, please! When you told us you were forming a resistance army, we pledged our lives to you, remember? There ain't been a moment since that we regretted it. That's right. <laughs> since they regretted it. Yes, sir. We made up our minds that very night. Just so happens you're a man worth risking our lives for. As are the ideals you believe in so you can stop all this second-guessing right now. Your heart knows what is right. It always has. So trust in it. Thank you all. My feelings haven't changed since that night. I feel the same now, even as I stand here blessed with so many new friends. So thank you. I know what to do now. Good. If you're not sure of yourself, your soldiers can't fight. A leader must cling fast to their beliefs. Spectacular. I was wondering when O oh, Great Captain would become O oh, Nearly Excellent Captain. Huh? Wait, I was still only great? Huh? No way! Did Emir just make a choke? Bad form? Nearly excellent form, I'd say. <laughs> now I've truly seen it all. If you're ready, Noah, then lead us onward. Straight and true. So, Commander, have you come to a decision? His face seems to say yes. Noah? <sighs> We're going to keep fighting. We're going to stop the Empire. If there was a way to save all of you by turning away from this, I'd do it. But the Dukes will never allow it. We know what he did to Yelu's village and what he's beginning to do now in Haishan. He's going to end so many lives. I know what I'm asking of you won't be easy, but it won't be beyond the realm of possibility either. So I say we fight and protect as many people as we can. Now that's what I like to hear. Poopy poo! Yes, yes, I do like the sound of that. Let's rise up and fight again, as when we first defended Haishan. Sharks never shrink from a chance at glory. And this battle will be the most glorious of them all! Here, here. We must put a stop to Aldrich's barbaric reign. See? I knew I chose the right person. That said, what we need now is a strategy. A way to win the war against the Empire. Melrich? With all respect, Commander, that is a ludicrous request. We'd be lucky to defeat the Imperial Army in a single battle, much less a war. So it's impossible? The word I used was ludicrous, not impossible. Besides, I know a worthwhile challenge when I hear it. Sounds like you have an idea. First things first, we must reinforce our army by gathering as many of the scattered Eucrisian and Nori Stari troops as possible. In addition, 
there is another small military force to whom we might appeal for help. Ah, I knew I was asked here for a reason. Something tells me you've had this ludicrous plan in your back pocket all along. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Can we count on the second son of the Fawad clan? Well, I'm none too keen on looking my brother in the eye again, but I guess it's time to swallow my pride. The elves are likely to be drawn into this conflict sooner or later anyway. Oh, Alwi. Relax, Lilowin. I'm not gonna punch him in the face this time. That's not what I... <sighs> so there you have it. Good Alway here will be our emissary to the elves. Appreciated. No problem. I'll figure things out somehow. Permit me to gather the Eucrisian troops. And the Guardians will get our butts in gear and track down what's left of the Norse Sturries. Commander Noah, now would be a good time for you to seek out new allies as well. We must act before the Empire makes their next move. Now let's get to work and win this war. Oh, we're going to win, all right. No matter what. More thralls would make for a stronger assault. We are battling the Empire here after all. What wisdom do you seek? Had a mind shablui. The mysteries of the stars can be un. of Marcus, King of the Revenants. Do you fools see now that I spake the truth? Spake the truth? How did the Revenants get in here? We're not afraid of you! Still you do not understand? So be it. I shall spare you further misery and raise you into my legion of servants. Ah, 
Not this pompous pile of bones again. Well, well. If it isn't the Vandals who demolished my beloved subjects, do you know how much trouble it was to restore them? Restore them. What do you want this time, you freaks? Gonna destroy another village like you did mine? Pull me, pull. Have I not made that clear? I want you. Join your strength to mine, and I will grant you life eternal. Now there's a carefully crafted lie. Rude. That spineless rogue, Dirad, might attempt to deceive you, but the King of the Revenants is never false. Dirad, is it? Don't suppose that's the creep that overran our village? The one working with the lady in the fox mask? He is my arch nemesis. How dare that villain seize the prize I had already set my sights on. Quickly now. Give yourselves over to me, that I may grant you salvation from your miserable fates. Wait, so you're not on the same side as the revenants that attacked Yarnon? Maybe we should hear him out. At last, they see reason. Goodness, but you humans always let the blood go to your heads. I could so easily relieve you of that problem. <laughs> I found you at last, Skeleton King. Hmm? Who are you supposed to be? I am the Necromancer Milana, your new master. <laughs> you, my master, what drivel you think a mere necromancer can... I've been searching for you for a very long time, so let's skip the unnecessary blathering and get to the part where you do as I command. Okay, I'm starting to lose track of who's trying to subjugate who here. Can we save this for later? Hear me. You stand before the King of the Revenants, ruler of the Elden Realm. How can we not hear you when you won't stop saying it? Still, I suppose you don't seem to be a monster per se. So to summarize, the Arch Revenant Dirad ousted you from your castle and you're merely trying to get it back? Wrong. Beg your pardon? I was not ousted. Losers are ousted. The villain stole the castle from me whilst I slumbered. I fail to see the distinction. And I had no idea there were revenant kings. Ah, does it fascinate you, child? You've a handsome visage, much like mine. See how beautiful you could become with just a few small changes. Tempting, but no. Let's get back to the matter at hand. You're saying that if we get a hold of the Runelands and this palace of yours, Castle Harganthia, was it? We'll be able to eradicate the Revenant army? Correct. Within the castle is a device powered by the rune lens of soul calling. Removing the Revenant army from the picture would change the course of the war. All right, then let's go. I'll... Not so fast, Commander. The Guardians are going to take care of this one. We got something of a personal stake in the matter. Yeah, Noah. Let us deal with the Revenants. I suppose that works, seeing as we still need someone to recruit new allies. Why don't you focus on that, Commander, while they storm the Revenant Castle? All right. So here's the deal, Marcus. We'll help you get your castle back. But in return, we disable that rune lens and the Revenant army with it. Agreed? It is agreed. Oh, and it goes without saying that once the deed is done, the castle shall be given over to me. Very well. Then let us make ready for Guardian Marissa and her team to storm Castle Harganthia. 
When all is finished, I will hold you to your promise to become my thrall. What? I made no such promise. Oh, thank goodness I can finally add a king to my undead retinue. I made no such promise. So, this is Haishan's palace. Hmm. What think you, Your Grace? Is the decor not most extravagant? I don't care for it. Oh, well, how fortunate, considering we'll be redecorating it from top to bottom. Enough! What progress with the rune lenses? We have tried to entice those with the required talents to come forward, Your Grace, but to little avail. You entice? We need them. Many of them, if we are to fully awaken the primal lens. Bring them to me. By force, if necessary. Y yes, Your Grace. Oh, and if I may, it just so happens I came by a little prize that His Grace might find interesting. Well, well. If it isn't King Salus Bailrunt of Norrister. Ah. Uh, we found him cowering in one of the neighboring villages. I have long been meaning to ask King Salus something. What? That boy, Noah. The Allied army he leads must be headquartered someplace. I wonder if you might be privy as to where. I... I couldn't possibly... Come in. Let's get to work.
The god of the myriad planes is smiling. Time to catch some bigger fish. Then? Hey there. See you around. What wisdom do you seek? Zipper lips, so oh, pad a mind, shablui. The mysteries of...
Welcome. Come again now. Come to see some runes? Thanks. Good day to you. Some stress relief, perhaps. Do you get it? Eh? Who's that? Ah, it's that stuff.
She's a beauty. I can... <laughs> well, nothing creepy about that. Um, uh, who are you? I, why, I am Selbineth, a traveler beckoned here by the god of the Myriad Plains. The god of... sorry, what? <laughs> My lord has chosen to put down roots here presently. You should be supremely honored. When lamentations arise from the paradoxical resonance of dimensions competing to survive, the contours of such intonations generate surges and swells of possibility that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. To what? Try that again. Slowly with small words. <sighs> you and your companions have been invited to test your strength. I'm here to tell you where to go. So, do you accept? You might die, but only a little. The odds are very probably sort of average that you might find your way back. <laughs> I accept your challenge. <laughs> Splendid. Then let the gates be thrown wide and the dimensions traversed, that the far winds might engrave you a path. Is it challenge you seek, or death?
like pain. Okay, I'll heal you. Oh, Thanks so much. Oh. Rune. Come on. Oh, I'm back in it. Ready, see? I've got this. Now. By the rune's power. The task is done. It's my duty to keep getting stronger. I just hate resorting to violence.
Don't mess with a guardian! The task is done! <laughs> Once again, my powers grow. Let's do this.
<laughs> Welcome back. So, how was your transdimensional journey? Visit me if ever you wish to brave its recesses again. For I will be here. Always here. <laughs>
Let's take a look. Stay prepared. <laughs> Some stress. Can I help you, perhaps? Please come by any time. So, where are we going? Come in. Well then, another time. <laughs> 